Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I wanna say thank you for visiting and welcome. And if you find any of this stuff interesting, you can give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you'd like to see my videos as they come up every Monday and Friday. Today I'm here to talk about the Montessori method. So a little backstory to why I'm talking about this is because I used to work at a Montessori school. I am not Montessori certified at all. It was actually a situation where the Montessori school in the town where my school is at was actually hiring for a new Spanish teacher and I happened to have just come back from Spain and I was super excited because they needed a new teacher and I was like, I'm the girl for the job, please let me do it, I'm so excited. So they did, and I got to learn a lot about Montessori, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Now, I'm probably, if I'm going to get Montessori trained, I'm probably not going to do it for another few years, five to ten probably, just because it does take that extra certification and right now I just need to find a job in a school and get experience that way. So it probably wouldn't come for a while but I will definitely be sending my kids there because I think the Montessori method is just amazing and fantastic. So let's get into explaining what it is. So the Montessori method is an educational approach that was created by Dr. Maria Montessori from the Netherlands and she found that kids learn best by being guided and kids have a need and a curious sense to learn and they want to do those things on their own and we just need to be a guide or facilitator for them to be able to do that. We can model something and then the kids can go in and do it themselves as well and they don't really need us to teach the kids so it's, it's a big approach on being independent and there are some key components to the Montessori method. The teacher is a guide, not a teacher. They facilitate their learning like I said. There's a three hour work period typically in the morning that the kids spend a three hour chunk of time working at work centers that they find an interest in. The guide will take notes, kind of sit back and take notes and observe the students as they work and they will figure out, okay, now this child is showing that they're developmentally ready to do this activity. So let's bring them over, make it look really fun, model it for the student, and then the student can go in and figure out for themselves really how to do it and find that interest in it and they do those things. They learn math, they learn writing and literacy because they want to, because they see older kids doing it maybe the year before and they say, oh my gosh, this, is, this looks really fun or this looks like something that I would really want to do. Another part of it is the multi-age grouping. So the Montessori school that I worked at was ages three through five, and then at the five would be the kinders, and then after that they'd go off to the elementary school for first grade. I also interviewed, if you guys check out my video about my first teaching interview, that was at a school where they had two levels, so they had the primary grades and then they had upper elementary. So the primary was one through three and then the upper elementary was four, five, six. Another big part of it is that they really teach the kids about finding peace and being calm with themselves and I think that's a really cool approach to have. Just if the kids are being kind of crazy or wild or something, you say, okay, let's find some peace. And some of the things they did were just amazing. It was really cool to see. So like I said, I taught Spanish at the Montessori school and Spanish was a choice for the students, which meant I could have different students every day or I could have the same students consistently. And you also had to accommodate to the different age groups. So I could have a three-year-old and a five-year-old. The three-year-old might have come only once to my class. I had to make sure that my activities met all the ability levels while still being challenging enough for each of the students at their age. And everything there is a choice. Now the guide might guide a child more towards an activity to help them build a skill, but for the most part, everything is a choice and 
it's really cool that they get to do those things. They could wash dishes for 30 minutes if they want to, or they could work on math if they want to. Again, like I said, the guide is really plays a big role in that, but they get the choice of what they would like to do. So overall, that's kind of my version of the Montessori method. I tried to make this as quick as I could, but I kind of ramble a little bit, and I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, that is kind of the Montessori method. I feel like I align closely with that, but obviously every person has a different theorist or different, uh, many different theorists that they kind of align closely with. And I think Montessori is one of the, the theorists that I really closely feel that my teaching style is aligned with. And yeah, so I hope you guys learned a little bit of something. If you know anything about Montessori, please share it in the comments below if I missed anything because sometimes that happens. So if you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said at the beginning, if you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much for watching until the very end. I really appreciate all of your support. If you'd like to check out any of my past videos, please click the two video links below. And if you'd like updates on new videos, please subscribe above. Thank you again. I really, really appreciate your guys' support. You guys are amazing. Thank you.